four, five. Here. Ah, and it's a little cheek. That's when I should slow down. Yeah. You were using acrylic, which you knew wouldn't be secured. Right. Top unless you protect it. And that what got you into the top coat mode. Yes. Which made you figure out. I remember shellac was coming out first. It was, I was noticed it, but not a lot of people notice shellac when it's coming out uh, in my town. But I was like, mm, this is special right here. But uh, at that point, uh, we don't have money to buy like a whole system of gel. So... Um, I decided to buy the top coat and shellac top coat, and then I I start using acrylic paint, and I secure using shellac top coat, secure the acrylic. But it's tricky because I have to let it really dry, air dry, and oh, you have to top coat like multiple times. Good old day. Now, are you all gel? No more acrylic. This purple is beautiful too. Now I'm taking out a coral. So I'm using the really deep coral over here, but I will mix it with white because see how light the coral over here is. So I'm gonna mix that with white just to make it soften it up a little bit. This pigment, and I only cure this for five seconds. So look how beautiful the pigment is on there. This is very important, the cure is very important. Mm. Now, I'm taking yellow. Putting it down. I still need white into that yellow. Mm -hmm. Brush it on here. Yes, uh, especially when I work with the whole nails. I like my top coat. Yes, the scoops nails. Hi, baby sweet. Hello. Oh my God, you should wake up from your nap. <laughs> uh, why do you care pigment powders? Uh, no, I, I did not care it. I did not care the pigment powders. Uh, I care the mat for five seconds, but I did not care the pigment powders. Uh, I'm in Missouri. My, I'm located in Missouri. Now, um... I'm gonna mix a red paint. Actually, uh, actually, I'm gonna take in the yellow paint, not red, yellow. So, I'm choosing a yellow gel paint. I'm choosing this bright yellow right here. And I'm gonna mix in the fox. Just lightly. 
And over here too, some yellow. And over here, yellow butterfly. So I just put in the paint and then just pulled it up. See, it's just a gel paint. I'm still testing this. I'm using the graphite pencils. Now, I'm curing this. While it's curing, I need to mix these color, these, I need to have this orange and this uh, kind of reddish colors. So I'll put in my pencil aside. And this is a matte top coat that I was using. Now, let's see. Taking a pigment brush, I need new paper towels for pigment. Okay, I need a orange, which I, I have this orange, is perfect. I put a little white in it, just to kind of soften it up. Good. Now, I need a... Uh, a red color so I taken coral a really deep coral I mix with purples coral and purple see it's super pigment too Just look like this okay this color is rich and then I also need a medium orange just in case. Now, let's see our foxes right here, just in case. See our foxes right here. So I'm gonna start doing the light orange. Um, let me take my engraver so it's easier to show you. So I'm start gonna start doing this light beige right here. I already mixed this little white into this and then so it's it's the highlight of this and then i'm gonna mix the red with this purple uh mix in with coral over here for the fur take out my foxes zoom in now Start with the in the dark area first. Okay, these are shadows. Now I'm gonna take a lighter orange. Color this in. Yes, I do. I do sell that tour, Queen's Nails. Uh, it's called the Engraver and the Mixer Tour. I do sell that tour on www.tinovo.shop. Let me uh, 
type this in so people will know where to buy it. Okay, comment, pin. All right, you can see it below. Now the butterflies start with a semi-deep orange mixed with a little light orange. and faded it up to here. Okay. Dust is off. Now, are we ready for detailing? Not yet. You need some pink because the fox have pink. See the fox is have like a pink tone right here. It'd be so pretty to include that, don't you think? Or maybe, uh, actually, maybe let's go ahead and do the white so we can blend in with the pink. Let's do that. Take all the pigment work out of the way just so it saves you so much time later, you don't have to like actually use gel. If I can use pigment, I will utilize that. It's flawless. Pigment is flawless. I'm just going to take our white gel polish. Make sure your white gel polish is tacky. Put it on the palette. Now I'm choosing a 10 millimeter brush. This is a land brush. Let me zoom in. So I'm gonna paint it. The nose. is easy too. All the stroke that I make right here is so easy. You don't need a stable hand. You don't need a stable hand for this. The moment you sketch this out, you're good to go. A lot of people should be able to repeat this. So I make the fur for it on the side. Draw his little eye, uh, what is it called, the eyelid for the fox. Maybe a few more fur down here. Sorry, if I was too quiet, I was uh, focusing because fur is kind of, uh, is still a little tricky for me. I don't uh, do fur often. Little bit, little bit tricky. 
Not a lot, just letters. Hear this. And since it's white polish, and I'm gonna put pigment on it, I'm gonna kill it for full 60 seconds. So after that, I'm gonna use pink pigment for these right here, these little pink glow, especially like this fur over here. See this glow right here, it's beautiful. See that glow, that pink glow, I'm in love with that. And that glow is all over the fox. That's glow all over, even the butterfly, everything have that glow, so I'm gonna do that. Let's see the fox. Now take our pigment brush. Take out the pigment. And I'm gonna lift the pigment to find that purple color that I did earlier. That's handy. Now I give a little purple over here in the mouth area. But since because it's white, so it's lighter. See that? That's pretty. And the white fur right here, same things. Oh, that's pretty. Magical. Alluring. So the root of the fur, I'm gonna do that. This could, this could be uh, one of the technique. Is a fur technique. Now, pink. I need some pink. So I'm gonna choose this shade of pink. Then make sure I mix it in with a little white. Just to soften it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna brush, let's say, over here on the white. Ooh, look at that. My heart is stole my heart. Look at how beautiful and romantic. Oh my lord, I love this. Mm -hmm. Yes, and some pink cascading over here, too. Up here, Ooh, look at the sunlight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just give me a little mini orgasm. Put some orange over here. Some yellow, actually. Put some yellow over here. Okay, in the eye area. All right, now I'm ready. I'm ready to uh, land it. So I'm gonna take a uh, matte top coat and matte it the whole thing so I can add detail into it. And I'm gonna kill this. And while I'm killing this, I'm gonna clean the brush so it doesn't contaminate the matte bottles. So, this is our second animal today because uh, we did the cheetah this morning. Don't you love this Buddha? So this is like a crown, like a queen crown. The cheetah, look at the neck piece. And even the small finger, look at that bedazzlement. Okay, now it's out. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into these 
and I'm gonna take some uh, black gel polish to outline this. So I'm using weight gel, just any colors, black. I'm not using gel paint because for this, you don't need gel paint, you just need black. And I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of uh, matte top coat. So I'm gonna do some shadow. Later on, I will create a black gel, a stained glass gel for you guys. So you don't have to mix it with top coat. Now, I'm using the 10 millimeter again. Or you can use seven, seven millimeters, if you like. Shorter. Zoom in. And for this, uh, I'm, I'm doing sh this kind of shadow. So I might want to put a little red into the black. That'd be more beautiful. Actually, I'm going to take some uh, stained glass gel right here. Number six, I'm gonna put into the black. It's pink, but when pink makes black, it has this deep, deep color. It's really pretty. Mix it. See that color? That's pretty. Now I'm ready for the shadow in. This one for the mouth. For the eyes. This one for the fur. Mm. So pretty. Ooh, make you want to wear it. Ooh. Thick fur, of course. Mm, pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna cure this. Ah, oh, it's so magical, guys, and it's so easy. Just step by step. Hi, April. Hello. I'm so excited for my new friend. Ooh, and look at these little dot. Look at those little dot. You see the little dot? I want those little dot too. Mm-hmm. it in now i'm gonna use metal effect gel or you can use gel pen whatever you like i'm just using metal effect not for chrome purpose but its consistency is great for painting too so i'm gonna use that and let me zoom out here so you can see Now I'm gonna do the eyes. Important moment. Mm. Oh, let's just bring it to life. Woo! Mm -hmm. And these nose. I'm. I'm been saving it for last. Mm, mm. My lord, look at this. Mm. I love it. Oh, don't forget the butterflies. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna draw the butterfly now. It's a cool pattern. I love drawing butterfly wings. Butterfly is one of my favorite insects. I saw a scribbler. Ooh, another black one. Now I'm going to make a circle right here, loop around this, and I'm going to make a bunch of line dragging in. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love it. Just like that. And remember, you always want to track your line, always. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, now let's cure this. That is beautiful fox. Now the rest, I'm going to color. I'm going to have the same color scheme. Thank you. This is beautiful. I love it. So romantic. Fall is like my favorite time. Oh, I have to draw like fall leaf too. Yes. So this now, I'm going to put mat on because I want to put pigment on. So I'm going to take mat. This matted. And I'm going to apply a layer on and keep for five seconds so I can apply pigment on. This is a cell level mat. So they're gonna smooth out all by itself for a few seconds and then put this in one, two, three, four, five. Let's put it over here so I can put pigment on later. Now I'm gonna take some white gel paint. And you can use white metal effect gel, or you can use a, just a gel pen of your choice. And I'm gonna put white right about here. I 
here out. It's a little whisker. Thank you, Rosie Rossington. Uh, I'm using a graphite pencil. Mm, this is so pretty, isn't it? I love it. Oh, some whisker right here too. Mm -hmm. And there's some fur over here. And I put some dot for the butterfly over here for sure. Oh, it's a little bit too much. Oh, it's crazy. I'm so excited. Here this and I'm gonna take the engraver I'm gonna make this little dot right here this little tiny tiny dot whimsical dot first I'm gonna take um, an ombre brush and a flat brush actually no just an ombre brush and a stroke brush smaller so I'm gonna take white, mix with matte top coat. I'm gonna mix it with this. Make into a milky white. I'm gonna use a stroke brush. Then I'm gonna take this milky white and I'm gonna apply it over here and then use the ombre brush to ombre it down. Just like that. here too so it's like sunlight mm. just like this okay now cure this Okay, now I'm gonna take uh, white and I'm gonna make tiny little dots floating around. This might be COVID. Yeah, it's just floating around right here. Tiny little dot. Yes. Mm, just like that. All over the box. Yes. Ooh, here it is.
All right, now let's see this now. Let's uh, I only killed this for five seconds, so I'm going ahead and color it using pigment. Take our pigment brush and clean this. This is how I clean my pigment, by the way. I take the paper towel and I just rub it until all the color rub away. I'm gonna take a blue that I mixed before. This is like a purple blue. Go ahead and dust it on. This brush is awesome. Now I'm taking in a uh, coral and go ahead and brush this on. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. It's like it's like a dawn, you know, it's like a color of the dawn. Ooh, too much yellow. Goodness. Just a hint of yellow, not too much. Ooh, it's like jaundice. Okay, just light, light, light touch of yellow. Very light. Okay, brush this away. There's gonna be some far leap action going on there with this fox near it. Now, I have some yellow on my brush. I'm gonna just dust it on this little white dot right here. I'm just gonna dust it just to ease it out, just to make it less uh, pop so the fox can pop. I gotta say the word fox very, very clearly. This. I'm gonna put matte on this too. I'm gonna finish curing this. Cause I only cure this for five seconds. Let's finish curing it for full sixty seconds. And these fingers, I'm gonna do the same color combo, but I'm gonna do a. Uh, hold on, let me block a uh, scribbler first. Um, the color combo, I'm gonna do a tip, and then I'm gonna land this tip with a uh, gold detail. So. I'm gonna use metal fake gel. So let's buff this. This already have top coat on. All I have to do is buff this. Okay, block this. Now, yeah, I, I blocked them already. Thank you, thank you, uh, effort, uh, Misa. Thank you very much. Now, I'm using black metal effect gel. This gel is specialized on chromium. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take a liner brush. I choose a 10 millimeter this time, 10 millimeters. I'm gonna distribute black metal effect gel on a palette. I'm gonna take this, which already chrome free since I buffered. it. I'm gonna make, uh, let's see here. It should be a tip with leaf on it. I wonder, should I do a French tip? Or should I do a, I think I'm gonna do this kind of tips. Reverse friend tips. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. 
Yeah. So I'm just gonna uh, make the line thicker. Okay, then I'm going to make one small line. Make sure you practice plenty with this um, go technique right here. It's very important. Always remember the buffing. Always never forget the buffing. Cure this. And for metal fat gel, uh, I'm gonna kiss it for 60 seconds. Actually, I should do the tip go too. Don't you think? Let me see. Uh, yeah. No. I'm not gonna do the tip go. I'm gonna kiss this. All right, here, let's make some uh, tree branch. So I'm gonna take black gels. Take out some gel first. So one branch, maybe two branch, and then this branch is broke up. So another branch is growing on here, growing out all the way here, and it stop growing. There's gonna be another branch splitting from it. Let's go all the way out here. Then it's broke off. And then there another one growing out. Come out here and stop. So then another one growing out here. And then now there's another branch growing up this one. Come here, it doesn't make very far. Another one splitting from it all the way out here. This branch is going down, all the way down, and it stopped growing here, so I have another branch growing out of it. Like that. This one stopped growing right here, so another branch growing out over here, stopped growing. Okay, now come the leaf. Let me see. Draw some leaf. I'm gonna use black too. One leaf. Don't mind the puppy if they uh, at the stay where they playing with each other's. We don't uh, tell tell them no. We let them play. We let them be themselves. Let them be themselves. And then when other people come in like, oh, you have horrible dogs. <laughs> like, no, man, you're a horrible person who doesn't understand we shouldn't be messing with the puppies. Yeah, so you go home to your children and tell them how horrible they are. Oh, look. The parasite. The horrible thing is, is we're counting on the cats to train the dogs. Isn't that right, kitten? Isn't that right, mama? To leave For a right here. price of one tuna can a day, I will keep those puppies in the room. Of so this stress. kind of look like lace in a way. So 
This is some leaf growing out of here. Some leaf growing out of here too. Okay, here this one. Now this one I'm gonna make it gold. So I'm taking the other gold chrome. This is solid gold chrome. You can find it at Tinovo.shop. Now I'm gonna take a shadow applicators. So excited every time I gotta rub gold chrome on this. Ooh. So pretty. Alright. I'm gonna press this all over. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put matte on this. I'm gonna return the chrome the shine later on. But for now, I'm gonna take matte and I'm gonna apply on this. So I'm using matte. And then cure this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go ten just, just to make sure that the chrome is like really, really clear. Okay. And stop right here. Now the chrome is froze. It's already froze. So I'm gonna take pigment. And dust it on this. This is blue mixed with purple, by the way, and I use super pigment, so it's vibrant. I'm gonna put some coral over here. And then a little bit touch of yellow for the sunlight. Oh, yes. Put crystal on top up here for sure. Now, these fingers, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do both finger purples. Purple ombre, actually, yes. So, this, I'm gonna go ahead and put some. Uh, top coat over this, but I'm gonna choose no wipe top coat. So this is what I'm gonna use. Shine it. Also, shine it is a blooming gel too. Now the reason why I use this because I'm gonna make some um fall leaf out of uh pigment. So I do this so the pigment not sticking onto my background. It will only stick to the design that I make. I'm gonna take some 
gels, preferably metal effect gel. I'm gonna take this, let me show you. Black metal effect gel. And I'm gonna make lace pattern on the bottom here. And then another one up here, curving down, and then following to this line. Here this. Okay, this is the top coat. Now I'm gonna draw some fall leaf on this. God, the puppy is wild. Woo! So much energy. Now I'm gonna take some white polish. See, just white polish. I'm gonna paint some fall leaf. This one, another one up here. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, the, the, the puppy excited for the fox. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Now I put one final mat on top of this and then I will return to shine for the gold. So I take our matted and I apply all over this. Here it is. And then I'm gonna put matte on this finger and uh, the pinky so I can go ahead and dust pigment on it. So apply one layer of matte. Here for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Put this one over here. The pinky do the same thing. Here for five seconds. What do you want, cat? You terrorizing cat. Scratch at my tables. This wood all is furious on my tables. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay. Then we have this one and the index. Now, this we put pigment, orange pigment first on this. Little deep coral. Then I'm going to chew a bright, bright orange. And then yellow. That's his eye. And then return shine for the index fingers. 
and put out some shine it. Or you can use 3D jelly even for more uh, control line. You can use 3D jelly. And then I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter to apply. I'm gonna clean this. Gracias, gracias, Fernanda, gracias. Okay, now. Gonna take this liner brush and go all the way through. This is 3D jelly that I'm using, 3D jelly. Them for the line up here. Cure this. Now I'm gonna put pigment on all of this, and I choose purple pigment, purple and uh, um, coral pigment. So I need more pigment. I take blue and purple mixed together. Add more blue just to make it more bluish. Gonna dust it on. Uh, uh, no, uh, hablo, uh, hablo poquito español. Sorry, if I don't answer comment often, I, I uh, do this so I couldn't look up to the screen. Just dust this off. Keep dusting this. Hello, Norway. Hi, Custom Ink Nails. Hello. Ah, uh, as visitas a México. Oh, ah, uh, nunca, nunca, ah, uh, nunca visitado México. Pero ah, uh, quieres ah uh, visitar México ah uh, luego. Sí. Okay, just dust it up over here. Okay. Sam, Sam for the uh, pinky. Oh, gracias, mucho gracias. Wooden purple on two. Okay, now I'm gonna put on. Oh, this is a little too harsh on this side. 
gotta even it out. Okay, now I'm gonna chew coral. Oh, this is so pretty. Ah, I feel so pretty. I feel romantic. Corals. Mm, I have to clean my 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 my, my brush really thoroughly. Oh, the way it's fading to the purple is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful the way it's faded right into the purples. Mm -hmm. My God, it is like beyond magical. This uh, this pigment ombre color combination alone can be a money maker just alone in the fall. You don't even have to design. Just give them some uh, ombre pigment like this, and they're good to go. With some branches and some fall leaf, you can do that. You don't have to draw the whole fox. Butterfly, you can do that. Mm-hmm. Yes. However, the fox is a, the main piece that I do. Every set that I do, I always want to do a, a main piece. The Aussie. But the finger that's surrounding it, that's your money maker. That's your quick money maker. You can always get by with helping design. I call this helping design because I don't think it deserves all the attention. I always have a piece, just just like you know, um, you know, people that are in the runway, you know, uh, when they when they send dresses out of the runway, they always have like a piece that you not necessarily want to wear, like a crazy hat or like a crazy uh, purse or makeup or something that you don't want to wear, but it look pretty with a look. It's a look that they act as a fantasy. But when it's time to wear it, you can just wear these. Look at how pretty this is, even alone by itself. Pigment powder is so magical, especially super pigment. These arrive from India. They are so rich. Okay, I'm going to take this out. Now I'm ready to matte all of it. This one and this one, I'm gonna cure this for 50 seconds because I only cure that for um, five seconds just to put uh, pigment on this. But I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Cleaning this before I move on to the next design. The next design is a quickie. This morning I have a quickie. Uh, I sh let me show you. So this is my quickie this morning. Now I'm gonna show you another quickies. So I'm gonna put math on here. Yes, and remember you have to use paper towel that way they're not messy. Pigment, I'm talking about pigment, you have to use uh, paper towels for it. Paper towel is as uh, like a trap. You trap all the pigment, it don't let it fly anywhere. Have to use paper towels. This matte top coat also. Hear this? Oh, look at that blue.
and then this one I also put mat on. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. This is so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna bedazzle the index finger for sure. is ring fingers I think in uh, orange crystal all over the branch or black crystal I think black crystal all over the branch and then some oval crystal floating around here and some uh, orange crystal on here this thumb and in uh, pinky gonna be crystal for sure so taking that and Put it in here, give me a second. Organize this. Take this out. Okay, look at that, mm-hmm. With them more neatly. Oof, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful, I love that. Mm, I love that fox too, so beautiful. Purple, a purple crystal have to be used for sure. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick key design.